And, and I think for them, the key in this game is can they control it with and without the ball to make sure they have an opportunity. Underway. Seattle Sounders in rave green. It is the Portland Timbers and Juan. It's Ladero knocking it away from Cascante. Raul Rui Diaz now an opportunity. He lost his angle there. And Clark was able to make the block. It'll be out for a corner. Just so casual on the ball right here. Too many touches. Great work by Ladero to close down the angle. That first touch took Rui Diaz wide and out of the play. If it's a little bit more, more narrow. Team, there's still a chance for Seattle to make that three off of this corner. It's Nicholas Ladero who will swing this ball in. Clark tried to get there. Roman Torres was close to it. Valeri's calling for it on the near side. It'll be Fernandez instead. Fernandez now. That'll be out in behind. And another corner. Little duty as Viafani intercepts that. Stopped away by Mabiala. A pair of wins, though, while those players were away for international duty deep in the second half. Stoppage time. They beat Atlanta with their full team last week. Returning after missing the last three games of the quad injury about a month ago. Well, it's his spot vacated as Ladero rolls it back in. Kelvin Leardot making the run chalk. Well, it's his spot vacated as Ladero rolls it back in. Kelvin Leardot making the run chalk. Trying to stick with him. Goes to ground there. Able to slot it away for Seattle's second early corner. Just missing the head of Torres. Seattle about middle of the pack. Scoring goals from set pieces. Ladero get it. It's finger the near post. Kipke, he was in for it. Corner already again near post insert. Clark didn't get there. Kim he did, but he puts it up in the stands. And a 1 0 Seattle win. Ball's going to stay in play for Diego Valeri from Abomasi. Roldan coming to help cut off that pass for Fernandez. Support from Svensson as well to break it up. Also, because they see a 2v1 advantage out there. Should continue and it gets starts. Victor Rodriguez, who has had injury troubles throughout his time in Seattle, missing another game with a hamstring strain today. We saw him out running. There he was left. Bobasi advancing further up that side. Leardon will defend him. Jeremy Abomasi, they give the space, he lets it go, and Stefan Fry around and really open up space then for Brad Smith to get into the attack. Typical of us, the last couple of years, we go away for our summer tournament, we blink, we come back. This is week 20. Good win in the last 17 games. Dating back to early April. It's been a tough first year for Caleb Porter and company. Philadelphia remaining first place in the East 7 back of LAFC in the Supporters Shield race. Dallas and Kansas City, a pair of teams on either side of that playoff line. And Kansas City, eight straight years in the postseason. Five points out of a playoff spot as of right now. New York City coming from behind in the second place in the Eastern Conference. That was one of the games earlier today, as was the New England Revolution, who have not lost any of the 10 games since Bruce Arena took over. He has taken them from bottom of the East. Trying to get through or around or underneath Bobby Allen. Could do none of those things and slide that out for a Portland throw. To lead Morris, it looked like he picked it up anyway. Now for Ladero. And Morris limping out of a challenge there. Jordan Morris off to the side of the field right now after a little collision with Viafania. Valeri lifting it along. It's going to find Sebastian Blanco here as Smith mistimed his jump and he blocks it in behind. The Portland second corner of the day. Far more than any other player in the league. Chances created from set pieces. Four assists as well. Time for the league lead. Created two goals off corners last June here in Seattle. That will almost a third. It ends up wide for Bulbasi. Delivery. It is on the money. Look at that. Just around the penalty spot. Cascante attacks it well. It's down into the ground. And what a save here from Fry. MLS and FS1 sponsored by AT&T. And Moreira going down with a shout. It's in the world for River Plate against Boca Juniors. He cuts around Smith. He's going to shoot. It's off the bar. Fernandez scores on the rebound. First game in this rivalry series. First goal for Brian Fernandez. And the Timbers take the lead in Seattle. Switch ball from the middle. Look at the width given by Marrero. He cuts inside. He just sends Brad Smith for a paper there. Comes in on the left foot, rattles the crossbar, 
And then Fernandez, Poacher, goal scorer, on the doorstep, right place, right time. Torres can't get there. Comes back the other way with the left foot. 1-0 Portland. Look at that strike from Herrera. Right-footed player. Just completely sold the fake to Brad Smith. Giovanni Savarese telling us yesterday all credit goes to Timbers GM Gavin Wilkinson for finding him, but he said this guy is an animal. He has been great for us. Morris cutting inside. The ball is shoulder to shoulder. Still for Seattle, though. Morris wheels away. Rui Diaz couldn't put it on the doorstep. Oh Challenge my there for Bobby Allen. Might have put him off, but that was a golden chance to tie it. It's to score. Jordan Morris, look how he stays with the play. A little bit of a shout for a penalty. Shoulder to shoulder with a Bobasi. Gets up, a little burst of speed, and fires it across. And Mabiala is beat. He's trying to do anything to catch up with Rui Diaz. But, oh, my, that might be missed this season. Christian Paredes for Sebastian Blanco. Fania's cross blocked up in the air by Morris. Those two were teammates of the Gold Cup two years ago for the U.S. The LAFC have more. Ladero able to get it back on Char. Able to cut it around and send Mabiala flying behind him. Now the cross deflected through the face of goal, but it took it away from Rui Diaz. Been able to create chances going into the break. We'll see if that holds true today as Valeri picks it up from Blanco. He's going to let it try his luck from distance and fry. Didn't even bother moving. Spencer telling us her daughter doing very well and watching this game from afar and supporting their Sounders. Instantly testing. That's going to drag them back. Ladero's caused a lot of trouble on these near post in swing. And it comes, Morris. Got a piece of it as did Clark. And we'll do it again. Near post now. Now they've got Svensson and Torres is going to come there too. Ladero a little deeper this time and it's right through. That is a series over the years that has produced a lot of very high-scoring, entertaining games, the Timbers of the Galaxy. First off, Svensson carrying forward now. You oh, find he miscontrolled that, Morris knocked it away. Blanco gives it away, Ladera though, only Rui Diaz in front of him, and Char able to block the pass. Went back for Portland. Ladero's ball into the traffic. Flipped along. Up over the bar. A touch from Clark there as it came off the head of Svensson. One would have dipped under the crossbar. We'll see. I think it was going over. Now from the near flag. An outswinger for the first time tonight from Ladero. Torres up for it. Couldn't get it down. Oh, he had a great look at it here. Roman Torres. Back for the World Cup behind Chad Marshall and Kim ki -hee. And people around the Sounders yesterday feeling that Torres has come back from the Gold Cup in the best shape he's been in since the torn ACL. There once again in for Fernandez. Those two. It's Paredes rounder on the turn and he'll shoot wide. Right before the end of the first half. Everybody back for Portland. Ladero to the mixer. It was Torres once again. But once again it flashes over the crossbar. That's exactly what's happened. A few boos ringing out here at CenturyLink Field. Brian Fernandez, the game's only goal. Brian Fernandez and Diego Valeri to make sure they're ready. And Drew Fisher, before they're in position, will get the second half underway. No changes for either side. And as the game's lone goal so far. We need more possession because that will inevitably make Portland get tired. Brian Fernandez now clipping it in. Paredes will try the overhead sideways contact. to Bobasi a touch. And it ends out why That was a Seattle giveaway in the attacking half, leading to a Portland chance the other way. Seattle's not lost a home game in league play since mid-September last year against Philadelphia. It's because Conte's touch. Really has got that for the court. He's got a wide. Torres of all people and that touch from Cascante Mabiala is coming across and the angle that he took there was to be able to get that ball and Rui Diaz does enough to get in front of him Mabiala doesn't want to foul Clark is then late to come off his line he makes no mistake about that one you see he just slows down at the end of that play rolls it home with the left foot Ladero taken off the ball wasn't a foul though Fernandez back for Valeri 
It'll go wide to Sebastian Blanco. Blanco's early cross. Fernandez oh. got there again underneath Fry. Second goal of the day for Fernandez. A mistake at either end, and Portland retakes the lead. Keeps on giving. Oh my goodness, what a run here from Fernandez. Torres this time, he's a little bit deeper and he switches off. It's a tremendous run. You see it on the next one as he just comes inside him. He starts on the left side of Torres. Blanco picks his head up, fires it across in the back of the net. And Steve Clark says, thank you very much. Just beats him to it. And it's that just would do anything different. The game here last June exploded in the second half to a 3-2 finish. Torres up for it. Not enough behind it. Really out with a shoulder injury, but it does seem like this has become Clark's job. Ten start in the last 13 games in all competitions. As Fernandez got that away too far for Paredes, though. Torres for Leardal. That's blocked by Villafania. Well done. Looking up Paredes there. Goes to the far side for Smith. Smith clipping it into a dangerous area. Morris up with a header right to Clark, though. That was a tough one there for Jordan Morris. Hey, and it's only before the Timbers were in MLS. Paredes got that away for Villafania, who kept it in play. Valeri's in the middle. Only real target, though. Villafania clipping it in. Valeri got there. Couldn't find a teammate with that, though. Jones ready to come on. Blanco picks it up. Blanco letting it fly. Scored from about there in the playoffs last year. That was Blanco. It was a substitute at a very unsuccessful Gold Cup for Trinidad and Tobago. Player that rejoined Seattle this spring after a year and a half in Germany. Good work by Fernandez there. Paredes, he'll go outside of the foot to Sebastian Blanco. Already has an assist tonight. He'll clip this in. Valeria skipped off the top of his head. And again, Gio Savarese hopping around his technical area, knowing that he's let Seattle off the hook. In comes Saad Abdul Salam. Maybe you remember in the 2015 playoffs, sporting Kansas City, Portland Timbers in the shootout, the penalty kick that went off both posts and stayed out would have won it for Kansas City from him, both with Portland and in the U.S. January camp out wide. Still learning the role. You, you can see that. Doesn't look as comfortable in, in certain positions that he's asked to get into on that left end. Fans rising to their feet at CenturyLink Field. 50,000 plus. Ladero in swinger. Clark That's a great catch in traffic. And he's going to stay down as he drew contact from Svensson. Sir said he would look to do at some point in the game. Fernandez into the middle. Christian Paredes chance to shoot. And it's up over the bar. As it comes in, good pass from... And is he doesn't get a full angle at it because he has Jordan Morris on his weak side. A play for Ladero. Char trying to close him down. Ladero got the cross in. Jones attacking. Clark a punch. It evaded Abdul Salam. It's picked up by Roldan. Roldan sending it back. It's a great cross, but it's all the way through. Rui Diaz couldn't get on the end of it. It in deep, not going to find Torres though, only as far as Smith through traffic and Clark there to make his sixth save of the night. And actually, Brian Schmetzer has pushed Joven Jones back out to that left hand side, and it looks actually like John, we might see Jordan Morris go up front alongside Rui Diaz. A little bit of the man after. Valeria to take now. He's now swinging corner. Cascante up for it. Up over the ball. What was the number you predicted? I was saying five. We have found you not adhering to the new law change, saying you're not supposed to come over to the fourth official. You just get out at the nearest boundary. You would assume referees don't always necessarily add on the extra time in added time. Here we go. Ninth corner of the night. Ladero sends it in. Clark in the traffic. Got a punch. Jovan Jones back into the mixer. Away by Cascante. Back out for Kim Kihi. Morera the defender. Given the space and time to lift this cross in. Torres attacking. And Clark is there for his seventh save of the night. That ball is behind him. He has to try and attack it. Then tree. Oh, come on and try to shore things up and see things out. Third and final sub of the night. Into the 98th minute. Drew Fisher might at this point, yeah. I was he just going to say, he might just choose to end, end the game. Yeah. The Timbers have won it.